hey what up decisive marketers um there has been a powerful update by my favorite long form uh, ai seo writing tool and um this new feature is very powerful because it is now able uh to write updated content uh because we all know that the ai library um gbt3 only has content up till uh, 2019 and that's why it doesn't have much information about uh, things that are the they are more recent for example COVID-19 uh, the latest phones the latest laptops and so on so we're going to test this out today uh, because uh, this two skill nut Right, my favorite long form AI SEO writing tool is now um, have added this new feature called sub ideas, and with sub ideas, it is able to get those uh, ideas from the search results and help you to write them through the using the AI into your um, article itself. So this is a really powerful uh, feature, and I am going to test it out and let's try it right because i have not actually uh, tested it out so before i dive in be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in uh, skill nut so i have put COVID 19 in here but of course we can write about anything that we want in this writing pad right here so the first one is so what happens is that when you click on sub ideas um it's of course you know still in beta right now okay so what happens is that you you can enter um the ideas the sub ideas that you want and it's you know it has pulled out all this um um ideas right so uh so over here we're gonna grab one of these uh and generate something from here right so i'm going to click on this one here so coronavirus a disease is a disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus that affects the majority of people who are infected so this information right here is we, we are we are pretty sure that this is all correct because this is all from the sub results right um then over here uh we have uh the ai generated output right here covid 19 is a very deadly disease which is caused by the sars cov 2 virus so this is this is accurate right this we all know that this is accurate right here it has killed approximately 400 people so far and it is currently the most common infectious virus that mainly affects the elderly um this of course this data is not correct anymore but is the most common infections virus i'm not sure about this um it could be because you know it's we are still currently um having the pandemic ongoing as of now when i'm recording this video so the main symptoms of coronavirus disease is fever cough shortness of breath um can we look that up right so main symptoms of covid19 right okay so this is very good so the most common symptoms okay um fever cough tightness okay and then serious symptoms will be shortness of breath so it's correct that there is shortness of breath right so there's fever and cough which is correct the infection uh, infected person be usually becomes very ill and loses a large amount of blood so i'm not sure about this can we look that up okay COVID-19 lose large amount of blood, right? Let's try something like that. Lose blood. Is there anything like that? Okay. Excessive blood clotting. Okay, so... So, it does induces blood clots some covid 19 patients have a higher risk of bleeding okay so let's look at this uh, excessive blood clotting is a recognized feature of the severe okay some hospitalized may be vulnerable to bleeding okay so that means it has higher risk of uh bleeding but 
doesn't mean that you're gonna lose large amount of blood. So this um this is not necessarily accurate. Um, the the idea is that, but you know, it's not phrased correctly. I'll say it is mostly fatal, and there is no known cure for this virus. Okay, is COVID nineteen fatal? Okay, is it classified as fatal? Uh, Okay, it is fatal for some people. Um, I so I wouldn't say that it's like mostly fatal. Um, and then we have a no known cure, right? So, is there a cure? Okay, so okay, so I don't think that the I mean. There is inadequate evidence that it can cure COVID nineteen. Okay, antiviral pill to treat it. Okay, so at least uh, as of now, there is no known cure. Um, it depends on your um immune system, right? If you know whether it can um help with it. So I'm gonna put in uh COVID nineteen symptoms. See if you can write anything from here. Okay, so people you get sick a lot of ways. Pink eye, is that pink eye? COVID nineteen conjunctivitis. Okay, it is a possible symptom, right? That means it. Okay, because I have not contracted. Uh, I've I've never contracted. I hope I don't contract a COVID nineteen at all. Uh, so I don't actually know much about COVID nineteen except what is conveyed on the news, right? So COVID nineteen is a respiratory illness. That is correct, caused by a virus that. You can get from close contact with someone who is sick. It is spread through person-to-person -person contact or by touching a co object that someone touched and then touching yourself. This it is the most common cause of the flu in children and teens. Okay, not really sure what this line is about. Uh, it's talking about the flu, right? Um, but of course, I mean COVID nineteen. The way that it transmits is like flu, but you know. Um, calling it a flu might be you know undermining it quite a bit, right? So I'm just gonna click on this again. Highly contagious respiratory is severe. Okay, is okay. It's talking about SARS right now, um, which is not is SARS. And COVID nineteen the same. Okay, it is both caused by coronavirus. Uh, the virus that caused SARS is known as SARS CoV, while the virus that caused COVID nineteen is known as SARS CoV two. So that means, uh, SARS and COVID is uh somewhat similar, right? Uh, it is so it is it is a severe acute respiratory syndrome, which is correct. Uh, the illness has caused flu symptoms. Okay. Okay, but it seems to kind of go a little bit off tangent right here, uh, because I want to be right about SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19, not SARS itself. Okay, so of course you know, um, AI is never going to be perfect, right? But um, it is somewhat able to give very good information especially like the first couple of lines in here right okay so i'm going to try something else um i'm going to try this phone model right here called one one plus nine um okay smartphone Ok, 
okay I'm gonna write about this okay so we've got some factual data right here and I'm going to make sure that it's all correct right so let's look it up one plus nine Okay, full phone specifications. Six point five five. Okay. Um so it's a little bit off right here. Right, so the size is six point five five. Uh yep, so this is incorrect. Uh display with a notch does it have a notch so it does have a notch right here for the camera a great camera powerful processor okay it's using the flagship s uh, snapdragon 855 processor so let's look at the processor okay so uh, it is not using the 855 is using 888 okay so but of course I use like this input right here right which could be very off let's try this one okay let's try this Okay, so they have a launch event. Okay, so this this was the live stream, right, for the event. Um is it Okay, so this is the live stream. Is this in London? I'm not sure. Okay, um it doesn't say anything about the event. It says it's London, but I'm not sure, right? So uh one plus okay, so this is not correct as well. I think one plus nine India launch date. So it's March 23rd, right? So this is not correct. Okay, um, one plus nine colors. So it seems to come in multiple colors. So there is Stella Black Pine Green Morning Mist. So here it says Matte Black and Graphite Gold. So that's not correct as well, right? So um i guess um at the moment uh with i think that it is getting there but the ai needs to identify certain factual information much better um at least as of now i can see that it's writing much better uh with on the covid-19 content right so um uh, let's say i were to you know use some of these templates here uh, okay, maybe I'll type in what is COVID-19. Right, and I'm going to show you what happens if I try to write with AI right here. Right, so it's totally um, incorrect. Right, totally incorrect right here. Um, it's talking about some chemical derivatives, which is not correct at all. It's talking about e-commerce right here which is not correct at all right so you compare this um out in outputs right versus sub ideas okay and i'm going to put in what is covid19 and i'm going to generate something from it instead 
copy. Okay. Right, so this one. Okay, so everything is good, um, but this one, I'm not sure, right? Okay, uh, can you see like the output from here versus this one? This is completely irrelevant and off, right? It doesn't understand what it is, but now with the sub ideas features, okay, it is a lot better, okay? Okay, let's try it again. Okay, very, very good here, right? Very, very good. Um, let's try it again. So, um, Okay, this this is when it starts to go a little bit off. Uh, it was first reported in January 2019, right? So this is not correct at all. It was first, uh, I think, reported in November or December 2019. Okay, so, but you can see the content that was output from here versus something like this over here, right? Um, you know, the sub ideas definitely gives a much more accurate and relevant output for your long form content so um i think this new update really helps with the accuracy of the ai um it's going to still have some hit and misses um like you have an output it will not be completely irrelevant but it will uh have some irrelevancy with a single output um uh, but otherwise, I think that this sub ideas has dramatically improved the capabilities of Skillnut itself. So that's all I have to share about the Skillnut's latest update. And uh, Skillnut is still available right now. Uh, the link is in the video description. I highly recommend that everyone go and grab a copy of it because you know it's probably the most powerful um, AI that I've used. Um, if if uh, let me know what you think about this new update right here uh, this sub ideas feature in the comments below um, if you have um, you know if uh, if you know anyone who could benefit from an AI writing too uh, that is able to write updated content be sure to share this video with them and lastly if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video